in thinking about food waste in the UK context, there's some really good reports which show that we can do an awful lot as consumers. We buy excess of what we need. Latest estimates are a third of what we buy ends up in our bin and then going on to landfill. And not all of it goes to landfill, but 70% of it isn't recycled and turned into something that can come back onto our land as compost. That's a huge amount of waste. Putting it into monetary terms, it's 12 billion pounds worth. What's also interesting is that 60% of that is within date, so it could still get used by someone, but it's not. If I look now at the, at the, the waste turning into something else you can think about, Let's have a look at the, uh, the water associated with that. 200 million cubic metres of water are wasted associated with that. And water is the one commodity we can't live without. So what can we do about that? Well, Food Smart Cities is an initiative which is um, looking at how we can map where our food comes from, we can put in place charters to align those people who are interested in local and peri-urban production to supply those, those cities and join them all up. Those food smart cities also provide opportunities. If you look at the gaps in that food map, there are projects that come forward which can feed a local population and offset maybe an unsustainable transport chain that's, uh, that's impacting from, on the global environment. One of the things I'm working on in Bristol as a food smart city is aquaponics. And there we're trying to not only grow fish, but use the fish waste to provide the fertility for the crops, to join up those waste cycles, to produce products that can be eaten locally, more importantly, harvested to order, so there is no waste. Using these type of initiatives, and at the moment then, they're unproven in terms of our cities, but we need to pioneer new technologies, together with the data smart rural internet of things, supporting our, our, our fertiliser use and water use in those areas to make sure that these cities have a chance of being sustainable in 2050 and beyond.